Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be assigning our project calendar to all the activities as well as to our project. So in the last video, we have created our calendar called as IT building calendar. If you go to this change working time, then you will see that our IT building calendar has been created with some certain timings and some certain restrictions also so that we have created already. Now it is the time to assign the calendars. So one thing is right now, if you see in the project information, so there is a standard calendar that has been assigned to this particular project. What is the standard calendar? It is some default calendar in the system, which has a timing of site as 8 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m. in the evening with a break of one hour in between from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so now we have to assign the IT building calendar to it. So if you will change this calendar to IT building calendar, then what will happen is the MS project will change the duration of the activities. Why it will happen is, see, I'll just open one Excel sheet. I'll show you one example, like the site clearance. This site clearance has a duration of two days right now and working hours based on the standard calendar is eight hours. Okay, how is it eight hours? You go there and you see, you click on any particular date. Then from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the evening, you have total uh, nine hours, but there is one hour break from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So that is how it is eight hours of work in one particular day. Now, if you will assign your IT building calendar uh, to this particular activity or to the whole project, then that calendar is based on 10 hours of work every day. So this MSP, what it will do is it will change the duration. How it will change the duration? You see one example, like right now, the Activity duration is two days and eight hours of work is happening. So in total, there is 16 hours of work which will happen for this particular activity of site clearance. What MSP does is it has a tendency to keep this 16 hours of work as constant. Now you are changing the work to 10 hours per day. So what it will do is it will change the duration of the activity to 1.6 days. Okay, so this it will do for all the activities irrespective of anything. If you will change the calendar, which has a different working hours, it will change the duration. So what is the solution for it? The solution for it is you need to copy the duration as well as these predecessors. These predecessors also have some duration in it. So this 10 days will also get changed based on the working hours. So what you need to do is you simply need to copy this particular uh, column from 78 days to your last, you can press control plus C and you can open the Excel sheet and in one new sheet, you can just copy this. Okay. Similarly, you can copy this predecessor also. Control plus C, you can go here and you can press control plus V here. Now you have your data stored in case MSP changes everything. You can simply copy it from Excel and you can paste it back again there. So now we are in a position to change the project calendar. So how to change the project calendar? You need to do two things. First of all, you need to go to the project information and in the calendar, you need to change your uh, desired calendar to IT building calendar. We have created the calendar of IT building calendar. So we will click on OK. Right now, you will see that not much things have changed. Only the timings have changed. Like from 8 a.m. it is making it to start at 3 p.m., 12 p.m. and so on. Why it is doing so? Because it is calculating everything based on number of hours. OK, so you see that some things are still not changed. The durations are not changed. Why? See, one more thing is if you are unable to see this kind of format of time and date, then you can simply go to file. You can go to options and in the options in date format, you can choose this particular format and then you can click on OK. OK, one more thing you need to do is you can go to file and in the options, in your schedule option, you need to change these hours. See right now, based on our standard calendar, it has taken eight hours per day. But as per our IT building calendar, it will be 10 hours per day. And hours per week will be 60 because the work is going on Saturdays also. Whereas in standard calendar, the work was only going till Friday, Monday to Friday. Days per month, we are considering only four off days in a month. Only four Sundays will be off. So approximately we can take it as 26 days per month. See, if you assign a new calendar, but if you do not change these settings, no, then everything will uh, change for you. These things will not happen for you properly. Here also you need to change the timings as per your own calendar. So as per our calendar, the timings, you can just go to this presentation and you can see that the site starts at 8 a.m. and it ends at 7 p.m. So here also here it will we will keep it as eight 
but here we need to keep it as 7 pm and then we can click on ok so once we click on ok you see the durations have now changed i told you site clearance will now take for 1.6 days as per the excel sheet so it has taken as 1.6 days okay but we have copied everything so we can just copy back again and we can paste it here as control plus v you see everything is back in shape similarly we can do the same thing for predecessors also we can just copy the whole column of predecessors and we can paste it back in our ms project window okay now everything is back to normal but one thing which has changed is these particular summary task this summary task is now manually scheduled why it has become manually scheduled is because we have ourselves entered these durations and our predecessors see with predecessors nothing would change but if we enter the durations manually then this summary task will become manually scheduled so what we need to do is for all the summary task and for everything we need to make it auto scheduled so we can simply choose auto scheduled we have made the top topmost row is auto scheduled what we can do is we can now press the shift key in the keyboard and we can fill down by right clicking so once we do this everything will become manually scheduled auto scheduled automatically okay so this is how we can change this now everything is back to normal this is how we can insert our desired project calendar but one thing which you see is our project calendar is now based on the uh, it building calendar so the date has shifted from some 8th february to 22nd of january but the duration is still 78 days previously also the revision was 78 days why because the 78 days is calculated based on the working days of the activities and it is not at all taking into consideration the leaves and holidays in between okay so all the working days have been added up which sums up to 78 days so this is why the duration of the project is not at all changing irrespective of what type of calendar you assign to your project okay see one additional thing is if you want to assign a certain calendar to your activity like right now every activity will be working based on your standard it building project it building calendar only but suppose if you want to change the activity calendar then you can just type calendar here and task calendar option will come here if you want to assign a certain calendar to a certain activity for example suppose your uh, let us say site clearance activity is not running based on the it building calendar due to certain restrictions of the vendor suppose vendor says i won't work on saturdays at all so that means the vendor of site clearance will be following the standard calendar so you can choose the standard calendar from here but see when you will assign the standard calendar to a certain activity the hours will change because the standard calendar follows eight hours of your work so for two days two multiplied by eight 16 hours of work will be required that is why you see it has changed the timings of this particular activity see from for 22nd of october this will work from 8 a.m to 5 p.m okay similarly for uh, 23rd of october also it will work from 8 a.m to 5 p.m. That means your 8 plus 8 will be 16. Then on 24th of October, it will work from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. That means 8 plus 8 plus 4 will be your 16 plus 4, which will be your 20 hours of work. As per the project calendar, see, I'll open one Excel. I'll show you. As per our IT building calendar, as per IT building calendar, you have assumed that each day has 10 hours of work. So your activity is of two days. So ideally it should require 20 hours of work. But now what you have done is for site clearance activity, you have changed the calendar and now eight hours of work only is possible in one single day. So that is why what it is doing is for eight hours, one day, you will have eight hours in one day, 16 hours in two day. So now to complete the 20 hours of work, you will require a total of uh, two and a half days okay because in first day you, you will do eight hours in second day also you will do eight hours because you have opted for standard calendar but still four hours of work will be required so from 8 a.m to 12 p.m you will have to work to complete this particular activity that is why this activity has changed the timings and all to 12 p.m the end timing is becoming 12 p.m which will be the start timing for the next activity so if you want to change the calendar you can change i am making it back to none 
okay so this is how you can assign a task calendar also to a certain activity now suppose if you want to see the changes of the calendar in your gantt chart so how can you do that you can simply take your mouse arrow here you can right click and you can choose the time scale option so when you will choose the time scale you will see that there will be option of tires tires means these rows are called as tires so let us say we will go with three tires so first tire we will keep it as quarters we will go to the top tire we will keep the first tire as quarters that means the very first row will show us the quarters the middle tire will show us let us say the weeks and the bottom tire let us say it will show us days but right now the days are counted as seven we will make it to one so that every single day is visible to us now you see whatever you are changing is you, you can preview it here so if you will click on okay your gantt chart will become in this format the top tire will be quarter then you will have weeks and then you will have days every day will be visible to you but you also want to see the non working time so you can choose the calendar the calendar is it building calendar you can choose the pattern for non working days and the color also let us say we will go with this gray color and pattern we will choose as this particular pattern and we will uh, make it in front of task bar so when you will click on okay then you will see that your activity gantt chart has changed completely you see the activity is starting on this particular activity if i click which is site clearance it is starting on 22nd and it is ending on 23rd then on 24th another activity is starting till 27th it is going then there is one particular off day which is your 28th of october which will be sunday most probably then 29th 30th will be your last day for this particular activity okay so this particular gray bar is now signifying your uh, off days non working days you can format this you can change the colors and patterns also see if you go to 1st of january then that particular day will also be off because as per our calendar we have made that particular day as a holiday because of new year so if you see this 1st of january this is also displayed in gray color because it is an off day similarly 25th december will also be an off day because our gantt chart has now followed the it building calendar and everything is based on that particular calendar only so this is how you can see the calendar changes in your gantt chart also but if you will just try to zoom out then you can zoom out using your mouse also if you want to zoom in you can zoom in using your mouse okay you need not change the time scale if you use your mouse then you can do everything with your mouse also like see if you want to see the timings also then you can further zoom in if you want to see it very broadly then you can zoom out everything okay so this is how we can change the time scale also so that's all for assigning the calendars to our activities thank you everyone